is one of two. First mission is a fear-based mission. The second is a technique-based mission. So you can pick whether you think that your sticking point has more to do with your inner game or more to do with your outer game. Uh, the inner game mission is this. You must game in a venue that scares you a little bit. So this could be if there's a loud club that you're not used to that maybe like it intimidates you a little bit or you've had bad results there in the past. It could be doing day game if you're not used to doing day game. It could be going into, say for example, a women's clothing store, a cosmetic store, if that uh, scares you a little bit. If you live in a city that has public transit, another good one is maybe go on the subway and game there where you have a lot of social pressure on you. But in any case, pick a venue that you know, you've always thought, you know, there are girls here, it's silly that I'm not going, but it's just like it's weird, it's socially unacceptable, or I haven't had good success, or my game isn't tailored to it. That would be the idea of like the loud club. Pick a venue like that, go game in that venue. Um, and my suggestion to you there is when you do it, just get to it right away. Uh, Julian has this idea, which is the more you do to the environment, the less the environment does to you. And I think that's very appropriate. If you go into one of those environments that you perceive as hostile and you chode around for a while, don't do anything, it's gonna get harder and harder and harder to do it because those approach anxiety chemicals build up in your body and it just gets worse and worse. However, if you do something right away, it becomes much, much easier. So that's my suggestion to you there. The technical mission would be this. Do maximum push-pull. Okay, so you're gonna go in and you're gonna, I love you, I hate you, I love you, I hate you, I love you, I hate you, over and over and over again uh, with the girl. Now this one I would recommend not doing for the entire night, but do it for part of the night, like the first half hour or hour of the night, and then go have your night as per normal. And then obviously report back on uh, the, the section where you were doing this. And if you wanna report back on the night in general, I suppose you can do that as well. Um, now, I love you, I hate you isn't literally I love you, I hate you. It can be a variety of things to be like, uh, you know what, there's something so cool about you, but it's kinda weird. Uh, and by weird I mean like, you're unique, which is good, because I mean like so many people are boring. You're certainly not boring, but uh, actually I'm a little troubled by you. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna get along, but you know, I'll talk to you for a few minutes. Let's just keep it to like, you know, well-lit public places, um, so that the fact that I really like you can't, you know, cloud our relationship. But I want you to know, I, I don't think we should have the sex tonight or anything. I, I, I like you, I think you're, you're all right, but like, um, let's just take it slow, okay? I hope, I hope you're all right with that. If there's just, if you wanna hook up with some guy, I'm sure you can find someone here. Um, but you know, I really wanna get to know you, because you seem very interesting. Right, so it's like push, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. Um, mess around with that sort of communication. You don't have to be quite as blatant and over the top as I just was, but definitely significantly more of that in your relationship than you normally have. Uh, what I've noticed a lot of guys doing lately that I've coached is they're just way too platonic, way too slow with any sort of sexualization and escalation. So I want you to ramp that up. Okay, so those are your missions. Uh, either go game at a venue that makes you nervous, or do maximum push-pull, whichever you determine to be your bigger sticking point, whether it's technical or emotional. Uh, lastly, I wanna end this video with a quick announcement, which is that in about 10 days from now, we will begin the launch uh, for Valentine University, uh, which is going to be the new version of RSD Inner Circle. Um, it's actually gonna include all the features of RSD Inner Circle, and this is gonna include one new feature which is pretty amazing, which is student infield video. We're gonna be taking um, my bootcamp students, my immersion students, and my assistants, filming them, breaking down their game, and showing you those broken down sets so you get to see sticking points up close and personal. Uh, this is a new feature. It was used uh, as a, a bonus on my hot seat, but it's never been uh, released as its own feature, and uh, it's gotten rave, rave reviews uh, in association with the hot seat, so I've decided to include it with the new RSD Inner Circle, which is again being renamed as Valentine University. For those of you who are current Inner Circle members, when you get, um, when you get rebuilt for Inner Circle, you will be billed at the current Inner Circle rate. Um, and then you will be getting Valentine University, which is a much upgraded product. So you're kind of grandfathered in, so you're opted in for the higher level product. It's gonna cost them like two and a half times as much. You're opted into that um, at no additional charge. So that's your benefit for being an early adopter. Um, make sure that you stay on that um, auto billing cycle because if not, if you, if you drop off and have to repurchase, you're gonna purchase at the normal rate. So I wanted to let you guys know that. You'll also be receiving an email with all those details, et cetera. Um, but I hope you've really enjoyed the product so far. I hope you continue to enjoy it and know that there is one new amazing feature coming out, which is the student infield video, uh, which honestly really, really increases the value of this program. All right, so look forward to that. Do your mission and I will get back to you. Take care, till next time.